Oh, how'd you lose your Desmodus? I was chasing a T-Rex through the trees where I couldn't see. So immediately just what went through my mind is like, oh, yep, we're losing this guy. This guy's gonna circle around on me. Ah! Alrighty, guys, we are back here with another episode in Ark, and today we are taming... Where are you? T-Rexes. This one is stomping around under my base. It's only level 15, but I did find one here a little bit earlier. But I did want to do something here before we went after that, and that was get this lovely lady her saddle. So now my Desmodus, I can fly. This is gonna be awesome. Um, again, guys, please do name these creatures. I've only had one name so far, and that was Archie the Argent Davis. And I'd like to thank you, and I would like to thank Typical Weed in our Discord server for naming that Argentavis. Again, if you guys do want to name a creature, you can either drop it in the comments or go over to my Discord. Your choice. Uh, Discord link will be in the description, though. Alrighty, and now here we are. That right there is the Rex I want to tame. Alright, he's got 30 in melee and 30 in... Ooh, don't... Be okay, please be okay, Rex. Oh, God, Rex. I think the Rex got this. Look. If the Rex survives, we're going to tame him. Alright? And there's no doubt that the Rex is going to survive. Watch. He's got the kill. And then as soon as any carnivore kills something, they instantly heal. So. That is actually going to be pretty interesting. Because there are some creatures that we're going to actually have to use that on to tame them. Especially some water creatures. But. I don't know how I want to do this. Uh. Is there any place for me to latch on with the Desmodus? No, but I'd like to get him stuck on that hill. That'd be awesome. Or, ooh, we could try and lure him over there. But he does appear to be stuck in the Bronto. Alrighty, I think we're going to go in here and get his attention. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay. Um, do I got Tranks on me? Tranks, Tranks. Oh, oh you scared me. Alright, I want to... Yeah, I did bring my Shocking Tranks. Alright. That's what I did turn most of my Tranks into, were Shocking. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, hold up. Turn around. Turn around! I hit him in the ass with the shocking trank. Hopefully these shocking tranks drop him quicker. Which they're supposed to. And which... Okay. There we go. There we go. Just stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Perfect. Ooh, I missed. These tranky laser darts are too expensive to be missing with. Where the fuck did that one go? I was aiming at it. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Come on, please. I really like the colors of this one. It immediately just struck me as T-Rex when I saw it. <laughs> that one was not expected. Okay, let's check his torpor. Halfway, you are a level 15 female. I, and you are actually mate boosting him. I think that's actually probably going to help him with damage here. I could technically land and just swap to Sinnoh back. I think we're going to be good. We don't need to swap to our Sinnoh at all, probably, today. 
Um, I'm just hoping maybe I can find a decent female that would have a high stat I could breed him with. Ooh, there we go. That's another hit. Get some headshots in. I want to check his tour part because I want him to run out of the water before I hit him again. Let's, you gonna come over here? I don't want him to go down in the water because he will drown. And I, I don't know if we can pull him out. I think we have to have like a, like an Equus with a lasso to do that. Because I know you can do that with Quetz. Also, my phone is ringing loud. Oh, how'd you lose your Desmodus? I was chasing a T-Rex through the trees where I couldn't see. So immediately just what went through my mind is like, oh, yep, we're losing this guy. This guy's gonna circle around on me. Ah! Alright, if we can just get him to pass out there, that would be perfect. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, make sure you're not losing oxygen. You're not losing oxygen. That is perfect. Alrighty. Let's get you marked up. So now, what I need to do, what I need to do is clear the area of any carnivores such as raptors could have sworn I just saw some a little bit ago there's a doe deck over there I also need to get blood for this guy um cause Desmodus what is it the Desmodus curate that thing the yeah the sanguine elixir it gives you like a 33 free, uh, was it boost? Was it 33% 33 on taming, basically? So, it's really good. And also, grabbing armored creatures like, what I, was it, Moralitops? Can I not pick you? Or am I being stupid? I feel like these guys are pickable. And I'm being stupid. Am I being stupid? I, I full on feel like those guys you could pick up. I do. I think I was just being stupid. Right, I just want this Bronto here. This Bronto should be all the blood I need. If I can get 200, we can craft a Sanguine Elixir. Best part about Desmodist is, as well, is that they heal from attacks. Also, I would say if you're also going to use this, uh, was it a Desmodus as a blood collector, low damage, and then like only go after big creatures like this and see how I'm attacking from above, can't get me. Then I got the Bronto over here. There we go, that's a Bracky down. I should have a Sanguine. Yep, I do. Ta -da! Alrighty. Well, what is your food at? You're only down by 75. Mm, I don't know how all this would do. Oh. Ah! We're good. Alrighty. Sue. So, I left the elixir on you. Number eight. Number eight. There we go. 
Oh, 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 mutton. Oh, kibble, kibble, kibble. There we go. Ah, we lost one. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We saved it. We recovered it. I should have put the food in and then do the elixir. Because then you'll start losing some taming percent because you don't have any food in the creature. It's just, yeah. It's wonkies. Wonkies. Ah, don't fall in the water. Oh my god, an alpha raptor just spawned in over there. Level 75? Ooh. <clears throat> I've also been thinking I need... Oh, my Rex is done! Thank you. Look at this guy. Oh, you just look like a T-Rex. Look at that eye. Just... Dun, dun. That's all I get. Oh. Okay. Okay, start looking at me then. I want to look at your... Ah! I fell. I keep on falling off of stuff. Alrighty, uh, we should look at the stats here, and ooh, look at that. Okay, hold up. I keep on getting the Desmodus. Alright, we got 40 in melee, and 39 in health, alright? Oh, man, that's just perfect. That's as perfect as it gets. Alrighty, I think there's one more thing I'm gonna do today, and that's gonna go check on the metal. Um, or we'll check on the gas for the metal. I haven't really been doing it, but I left the generator running. And that was probably a big no-no. I probably burnt up half my fuel. Oh no, we're good. It's still at 39. I put 40 in when I started it. I should probably go get metal. There's a lot of metal. Uh, you know what? I'll probably do some metal gathering off screen. Here, I'm just going to grab my Yankee there and probably go around and get all these nodes. But I do got to clear out all these Rexes. Oh, is that another 150? Huh. I might get that one to breed with. Or, you know what I might do? Because we do need low stats because I think you can hit a cap on your stats. I'm not 100% sure. Someone told me about this. But if you have, like, like so many mutations and so many stats um, that you can eventually cap out, but it will still show that, like, oh, yo, you have, like, tw you know, like, you can only have 22 mutations from each parent. And after that, it does split them. You only get 10 from each parent, technically, I believe. So each creature only gets 22 mutations. But, again, it could say, like, oh, it has 135 mutations from the mother. That's 135 mutations that it has a chance of getting, I think, at that point. I'd have to look more into my breeding research, but I think that's how it goes. But let's look at this guy. Look at him. He Oh, my God. He just looks like a T-Rex. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Quick and short, we got a Rex. Um, I might be setting up a new platform here next episode because we are starting to get a lot of creatures. I'm starting to need storage for them. So this, this place got filled up quick. I mean, it got filled up really, really quick. I mean, we had this guy. Oh, my God. You should have seen this when it was in full force. I, le I left for 10 minutes. I came back. This room was filled with these guys. Like, the entire room was filled. The moss chop, though. Um, I'm running into a problem here. Where if I set these guys to behavior. Like, see how it's passive? Aggressive. You gonna attack them? No. See? Uh, so... I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Because I can't get my farms to technically go automatic, you know? But until then, I don't know. But yeah, I think we're going to call it for this episode. So this has been Gunshamora, signing off. Peace, I reign in